everyone, welcome back to the Sticks and Threads podcast episode 9. Wow, 9 again. Um, as you can see, it's the bedroom again, because the husband is still home. Um, also, it's uh, Easter Monday, so all three kids are at home. I tried to bribe them to go out, but none of them wanted to go out, so you might hear some kids in the background. I'm sorry for that, but they just won't leave. So, hi, welcome. My name is Jen and I'm coming to you from the Netherlands where I live with my husband and my three children and our cat. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you will enjoy. Uh, if you enjoy, please uh, hit the thumbs up and um, subscribe. That would be amazing. Um, so, yes, um, I will post down where you can find me because my Instagram name is different from uh, the podcast name. And uh, I'm considering changing it because uh, at the moment my Instagram name is Drie Kleine Schaapjes. It's Dutch and uh, it means three little sheep. And since I always post in English and my podcast is in English, I'm considering changing the name to Three Little Sheep. I'm still a, a little bit in doubt because everyone knows me as Drie Kleine Schaapjes. But it's really difficult to tell your name, your Instagram handle name, when uh, to, a, to an English person or an English speaking person or a non-Dutch person. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm considering changing it, but not really that, that sure yet. So it might change, but hello, welcome. Um, also a heads up, I might have to edit a whole lot in this uh, episode because I'm not feeling that well. Um, uh, I'm having a cold, but also uh, it feels like there's a ton of bricks on my chest and uh, yeah, it's not going that well. So I thought I better record today before I really get ill and um, I can't record anymore and I don't want to miss too long. So. I'm sorry for that. I will try to edit out all the coughing and sniffling and everything, but there might still be some left, so I'm sorry for that. <coughs> so, I have a few things to show you. And um, I'm a little bit scattered and I, it's been very busy with the kids and school and everything. Um, so, um, yeah. I have a few things, but it's not all complete. I miss a pattern or I miss a, a, a yarn tag or anything. So that's just the way it is. I have finished objects. Yes, I do. Uh, I have so many whips that it started to stretch me out and I had uh, socks with deadlines and everything. So I decided I'm gonna knit like a mad woman and just finish my socks as soon as I could. It took me two days to finish a pair of socks that um, only had the heels in and only the, the foot had to go. So I have three pairs of socks finished. Yay! But I also have a, a baby item ready and I, I don't remember showing it so I'm sorry if I already did, but I still had it in my box for finished items to show on the podcast, so I thought I'll show it. So, a nice little baby hat. I think this one was finished last time. And these were only on the needle. Two cute little baby booties. They still need to be washed and blocked, but uh, that will happen when I have uh, a few more items. I knit these in Manos del Uruguay Serena and it's so soft. 
It's 60% alpaca and 40% cotton, so it's really, really soft and it's suitable for summer. So for those summer babies that still need something, a nice little set for them. So that's the first finished object. I'm really surprised I have this much, but who knows for next week. That might not happen. Oh, something dropped. Well, next, these had a deadline. I had to finish these. Two. Good day, now socks from the Truly Hooked. From Truly Hooked, Verity Castledean. It's the designer. Truly Hooked uh, is her brand of uh, indie dyed yarn. She also had. Uh, she also has, I'm so sorry, I'm really a little bit out of it, as usual. <laughs> um, Verity also wrote a sock pattern book, uh, uh, the sock drawer. And together with Carla, CQ Handmade, we are doing the Truly Hooked on Socks Gal. Each month we do a pair of socks from the book. And uh, a Dutch indie dyer dyes a yarn for that pattern. And this month we had the pattern Cadena and the indie dyer uh, Spin Godin, Linda, and she dyed Deep Zee. And the color really is not showing up like it should be, but it's stunning, it's beautiful. And um, I don't have her tag here because I already put that in my notebook. So the Cadena socks, they are stunning. I love that pattern. It's cables, cables cut, and it's cables on the side, and it's I don't really get to see, but maybe on this cables in the middle and on the other side as well. Uh, in the pattern it's also on the back, but I really like socks with a plain back because it, for some reason it's just easier. My mini skins left over from it. Two 20 gram minis, so that's going into a blanket, a swap, or I don't know what. We will see. I have an idea in my mind, it's brewing. But I don't think I'm ready yet to tell you. Um, my leftover skin just dropped on the floor, but my warm and snug socks are from the cozy socks pattern collection from Mina Philip, the knitting expat, are done finally. I this was the first pattern. It wasn't really my thing. Those uh, wedges here are not really my thing. Um, but I'm stubborn and um, first I had put them in timeout thinking like should I do this, should I frog them because I do like the yarn. The yarn is from uh, Nicole C. Mendes. And, uh, she's in Germany. I can really recommend her. Um, I'm in her monthly uh, sock club, so each month I receive a skin of self-striping sock yarn. And I really enjoy that, and it's amazing, and so far I have loved every skin. So, But, um, yeah, the socks. I first wanted to put them in timeout, and I really think, what should I do? I don't know. I started them, I was halfway through the leg and I was really like, I don't like those wedges, I will not wear them, And but I already had put in so much work and I have the pattern and I started it and I was like, I'll just finish them and we will, we will see what happens. So I finished them and I do like them finished, I'm just not sure how this will wear. So. I now shown them so I can wash them and start to try wear them. So those is this that's that's the second pair. 
I'm so sorry for all the... Uh, it never seems to end, all this coughing, snottering, illness, everything. It never seems to end. Especially with the kids. And every time they bring back a bug, I get it. Oh, well. Next, I finished, I just finished them last night and I was really like, I need to hurry because this next pattern is coming out. Well, it, it came out today, April 2nd, and I finished them last night, finally. So I was really happy. It's the Winter Rose Socks oh, by uh, Helen Stewart, Curious Handmade from her sock society. So um, I think every two months you get one pattern and it's really amazing. And it took me two months <laughs> to finish this, which is really ridiculous. But it shows how, much, well, how many whips I have. So I'm really happy I uh, finished those. I used, I knitted them in the yarn from Star Fiber Studio. This is her old logo. So it's old stash for me and I will try to remember to talk about that a little bit later. It's her daily sock foxglove. These are my leftovers. I don't really, they don't really show, the colors are really... Because of, I'm in the bedroom I hardly have any lighting here, I can't do anything. So. But who wants to see the socks? Yay! I finished both of them. I still have my stitch markers in. This was where I was at um, Friday afternoon. And I decided I have to speed up. I want these to be finished Saturday. They need to be finished Saturday. I need to. Enter them in the finished object thread on Ravelry from a Curious Handmade group and I just want them finished. Two months, come on. I used to knit socks in a week, so I did it. I finished them and I just printed off the second pattern. But I'm holding off on casting on. Really, I'm, I'm not going to cast on because I have way too many whips and I... I really need to finish them first. But aren't these beautiful? Really, and the yarn. I love these colors. I love them. So, I finished them. Three pairs of socks. Each took me just two days for only the foot. They were in my on my needles for quite a long time. And... Um, I just did too many things. I, I just casted on too many things and I now decided it's time to finish them before I cast on anymore. Which is really difficult because I have a lot of projects in mind and things I want to cast on and yeah, it's so difficult. But I'm going to uh, try to be brave. So. Those are the finished items. I have whips, as I told you. These are not, uh, I have four whips here. Those are not all my whips, because I left some downstairs. Because I just didn't work on them. So it's not worth showing you. So, on to whips. In my lovely sheep bag from Amalia X Joy on Etsy. I have my Changing Staircases shawl from Tristan Molina. Uh, she's the dyer behind Dragon Hort Yarn and I really love this pattern. The paper is really getting messed up and ugly but it's a lovely pattern. Really, if you are looking for one skin project for that special skin of yarn Look it up because it's worth it. It's really easy, but not not, but not that easy that you. I think well, it's really fun. So really, look that up. I will.
try to write show notes again. It depends on how ill I will get. I hope not, but I am using a sock blank. This is what I have left at the moment. It's from Poly Orange. It's a one of a kind, so it was in my stairs, like waiting for the project, the pattern, and I found it in changing staircases. And this is how far it's really growing. Last time I was here, my little sheep from the Woolly Dodo, and I got to the purple section. I really love how it's changing colors, and that's why I thought this is just a perfect match. I am using Knit Pro Symphony Wooden Needles because I took this with me to Edinburgh on the plane. So I didn't want to risk it and I kind of like knitting with them. So I just kept them in here and I keep knitting with them. They are kind of nice, I must admit. So that's, oh, I have to get everything in there. A lovely shawl. And next, I have another shawl in my Happy Cherry Bag from Paisley Ducky on Etsy. I love this bag. It makes me smile. I love it. In it is my shawl from Melanie Burke. White out. It's a lovely pattern. And um, I, again, old stash. I really need to remember to chat about it later. Um, last time I showed it... I was a bit further. This is all that I have at the moment. It's really... I was knitting on it and uh, I thought I had memorized the pattern. Well, I had memorized it, but I made a mistake in it. And it turned out that I was missing about 20 stitches. I could not make that up in my um, in the, the current clip, so I was like, oh no, oh no, if I would have um, added extra stitches it would have changed the shape completely, uh, it just wasn't right, and so I bit the bullet, I took it off the needles and frogged it, and cast it out straight away, but because I was on the sock finishing kick, I did not go any further with this. I still love it, I still want to make it, so it will happen. I am using this lace yarn. That's it, it's lace yarn, so it takes a whole lot of time before you get anywhere. And since I have to switch rows and yeah. I just hate carrying yarn on the side, so... Oh well, I am using these... It's just... So, I'm using this. It's lace, it's sea algae. And um, it's all the stash and I... Uh, Gea, the dyer behind. Draadkracht. She has explained to me what it is and, and everything, it's, but I can't remember. And um, I forgot to look it all up before I started recording, so I'm really sorry. But um, if you are interested in it, in this, I'm mixing English and Dutch all together. But if you are interested in this, go to her website and look it up. Uh, I have not checked if it's still there, so don't blame me, I'm sorry. But it's really, it's soft, it's so stunning, and it has a shine to it, it's really, you can't believe it. So, I will post the link below, that's one. 
I'm also using, let me see where it is, how it's here. Of course, it's stuck to, to it. This, and it's naturally lace, and it's, I can't really read the complete content because it's so tiny. But, um, it is with Angora. Oh, it's 60% Merino and 40% de-haired Angora. Um, I, this was gifted to me in a fiber share and I really love the color and it's really soft. Um, I would not buy it myself, but from what I could find, the hair is uh, friendly. So, so that's that. I have another whip. I said I have four. That was number two. Number three is living in my lovely bag from Fiber Rachel, a cat bag. I love it. When you close it, it has ears. Let me I so love this bag. I went to check if she had more of uh, with this pattern because I really like it on the inside. Little cat balls, so cute. In it is my is another pair of socks. It's um, for truly hooked Verity Castledean. She is writing a second book with sock patterns. The second sock drawer down and I am one of the lucky ones who gets to test knit a pattern for her and look at how pretty this is it's with wrappings and it's with cables last time I showed you I only had the cuff down and now I have to put in the heels. I'm a big fan of the German short row heel. Uh, German short row heel. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, since this is a test pattern, so I have to stick to the pattern. That's why I also did the back, front and back, completely in pattern. It was really difficult. I really had to think about that. Yeah. No, no stockinette stitch, you have to do in pattern. But now I have to do the heel. And I'm a really bit... Uh, it's, it's been a long time since I did a heel flap and gusset. So heel flap, heel turn, gussets. I'm really like... Ah. I will do it because I promise and I want to get it finished because again I have to pop in the heels and do the foot. And since I can push myself to uh, have a foot in two foot, two, two feet in two days, I am going to try and have this finished before next weekend. But I don't know how things will go. So I have two, of course, because I'm knitting them concurrently. I hope I said that correctly. Um, I used to be knitting two at a time, but for some reason I just couldn't deal with it anymore. So I split it up. I'm using, of course, Truly Hooked Yarn, a semi-solid called Violet, and I really love this color. I had it stashed away for uh, a show, but then Verity uh, saw I had this in stash when I showed her yarns. And she said, oh, please, knit it in that yarn. So, no problem. It's using all the stash again. And I really love this pattern. I have fallen in love with it. And I look, I so look forward to knitting another pair that will be for me. Because these I have to ship to Verity for her book. So... Number three. Last whip is a new whip. 
a new custom. I did it. But I have good reason to. It's living in my twisted yarn and fiber bag in my zombie sheep and I really really love this bag. Uh, in it is something new. It's the Impressionist MCAL for 2018 from Curious Handmade Helen Stewart. I will show you the yarns and then I will uh, say look away if you don't want to see because it's still uh, a mystery and I don't want to spoil it for you. So I will show you the yarn I have chosen. Completely different from the four cho choices I posted on Instagram because as they, they were really lovely. I had four choice, choices completely different from each other. But for some reason it just was not, it was not sticking to me. So uh, downstairs I have uh, a little uh, closet bookcase, I don't know how to call it, with a bin in there and it has uh, yarns with a pattern in a bag ready to go for custom. Like I have chosen what I uh, want to make with what you are, with what yarn. And I suddenly remembered I had yarn stashed away in there three colors together and I thought yeah I want those. So Briefly saw them. I am knitting this mystery shawl in three colors. It, it requires three colors in these. And they are totally not really showing like they should. But this is going to be my shawl. And it's so beautiful and I love it already. It's so different from the colors I normally choose. They are really beautiful. So, two are from Chestnut Cabin and it's a, a, a single ply. It's 70% superwash merino and 30% silk and it's so soft and so shiny and so beautiful it's really look at how pretty I really 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 love this yarn I have more of this uh, downstairs for another project but uh, it's so pretty look at how pretty this is the shine on it so pretty, so pretty. So the third one is not uh, with silk. It's just a 100% superwash merino single ply. But I just thought it would wear, oh, it's unraveling. It would just fit since it has gold in it and it has blue in it. And it's from Ushitita, 100% superwash merino singles in the colorway just glow now this was gifted to me uh, last year november i think for uh, get your yarn waist granted and i'm really really happy with it but it's so pretty it's so pretty and it's just it matches perfectly so i have no problem in mixing um yarn bases because it just matches for me I love it and um, I really look forward to how this will end up and how this will go and everything. So I'm going to show you now so if you don't want to see uh, how far it's along please look away and I will tell you when I uh, have put it away again. So yes are you looking away? It's stuck so 
here is my progress so far. As you can see, I did quite a lot. I have not finished Clue 1 yet. Clue 1 oh, came out um, March 31st, so uh, Saturday. It's just so wonderful. It's got a little bit of lace in here. And it's so beautiful. The stitch marker is just put there to show the right side. It's from Kate from Hawthorne Cottage Podcast. Look her up because I really enjoy her podcast. But I have not finished Clue 1 yet. I hope to uh, do that today. Maybe. Hopefully. Who knows. I have a week. So it's really beautiful. I love the drape of the singles with silk and it's this is going to be so nice to wear. So I'm putting it away, it's away, so if you can uh, if you looked away you can look at me again. So that's my fourth whip. Plenty. And then I still have about four downstairs. But I did not work on them, so I'm not going to show you. So, let me see, did I cover everything? Yes, those are all my whips. Next page. Oh, uh, oh I completely forgot. What am I wearing? I am wearing my So Faded sweater from Andrea Mauri. Um, I'm not going to stand up because I'm sitting on the bed. So you'll just have to look back on my Instagram or way back because it's an old one. Um, but uh, I really, you can see on the, the sleeves the colors. I really don't know how to show you. This one is dye candy. This one is unbelievable. This one is unbelievable, and this is dye candy. It's 80% superwash merino, 10% silk, and 10% cashmere. So it's spinning like crazy, but I don't care because it's really soft and it's so lovely to wear. I really love this sweater, and I'm so happy I have it. So, okay, so acquisitions. It's a lot, again, after Edinburgh. Oh well. Well, no, it's not that much. Let me see. I bought three things, but all the things I said I would buy. Uh, two things. Only one was bought. And I have also been gifted something. Well, I had won another giveaway. <laughs> I'm really one lucky person in that in those giveaways. So they were kind of surprised I had won it because I'm in the Netherlands and they were in the US. So that's really they said like we didn't know you were you we had US uh, outside US followers, but they did. Because I just love anything from the US. So First of all, I have won a giveaway from Seven Floor Yarn. And really, this is look them up because they make wonderful things and beautiful yarns. So, really, my neck is starting to hurt. So, Seven Floor Yarn, look at this yarn. It's so great and it's been, I love it. Now I can finally put it with my other pins. I still have to put it on a project bag, but I will. I love this yarn. It's Spring Garden. It's a, let me see, 80% superwash merino, 20% nylon, 280 yards, 100 grams. It's worsted weight, so it's, it's not sock yarn. 
but it's DK for me. But my youngest daughter already claimed it. She saw it uh, on the counter and she said, Mommy, is that for me? I said, no, it just came in. Do you like it? Yes, I really like it. I want a head out of it. So, projects and yarn are fixed already. With it, they stand also. I really love this. <laughs> These wooden stitch markers. They are so cute. I really love them. And this is really, I love this one. This is just a keychain with a little sheep. I love it. I checked out their Etsy shop because they, I always love finding new Etsy shops. And they have boxes with this sheep on it where you can put in your notions and other little things. And I was like, oh, should I do it? But that's guaranteed customs and. Um, also, the shipping would be really high on a box, so I had to restrain myself, but it was really difficult because anything with sheep is just my thing. I just love it. But this yarn is so soft and I completely understand why my youngest wanted this because she loves these colors. It's really, it's really beautiful. It reminds me of a yarn I have from Dye Candy. And it's called Lord of Misugu, and it's inspired by Lush. And it reminds me of that a little bit. So, and it's my favorite from Lush. So, <sighs> right. Okay. So that's one. Also, um, last week uh, we Carla from Seiku Handmade and uh, I recorded our new episode for the next uh, sock pattern for uh, the Truly Hooked on Socks uh, Cal and um, she was really quick. She had bought yarn and she had made a shawl out of it within just two or three days I think. I, I'm lacking on the, on the time but I have the same yarn in another color and I'm really like oh, I can't cast on yet I have to finish other things first but oh well. When I was there she said I have some leftovers. Would you like to have them so you can uh, make a baby hat or something with it. So I thought I was going to get a little nugget from it. She just had an eye entire skin or ball I don't know what what this is called but this yarn is so soft and I so it's so lovely it's from uh, blacker yarns blacker swan Falkland Islands wool and it's really soft and I look forward to knitting this up I have this in uh, if you uh, have seen my Edinburgh uh, episode. I have this yarn as well in another color and it's so soft and I so look forward to knitting it up. But so this is now with me and I really look forward to making a lovely cabled baby hat with this. Maybe I can even put in some booties and I will probably have some leftovers of my own so I can mix it up because those two colors will go together. Next up is from a D stash on Ravelry. It was my first time buying from a D stash on Ravelry. It was really, I saw uh, this lovely lady mention it on Instagram and I headed over to her uh, Ravelry account and I checked out what she was D stashing and I saw so many pretty things. Really, she had so many pretty things. It was just like, I want it all. But I didn't. I was wise. But I could not resist just one, one little thing. Which is Desert Vista Dye Works. 
I could never get my hands on this because if I would buy this directly from the US it would mean so many customs and as much as I love yarn and everything it's just not worth it but she was in the UK and she had a lot of Desert Vista dye works and I was so tempted in getting them all but I didn't, I restrained to just this one and it's called Trolls the movie and it's just it's it, it makes me smile it's so fun and, and it's so pretty and it's Desert Vista Dye Works there are a few things on my list that are really like those are my holy grails, I don't know, like full and fine yarns, desert vista dye works, nomadic yarns, just uh, a lot of US brands that are, um, yeah, it's not wise to, to buy them when you are in the EU, uh, because of customs and value and everything, so I was so, I'm so happy, I will, this will be a yarn pet for a while. Do you have that? Do you have yarn pads? I have, because all those really, really special skins, I keep them next to me like that, and I just look at them every once in a while, and touch them, and like, oh, imagine knitting them up. And then one day I decide, okay, enough is enough, now it's time to knit them up. And I think these will be socks for my daughters, because they both love the movie, and so I think I will make socks out of it for my daughters for next winter. So that's that one. Also, I um, this is also something from the US that I do buy because um, I don't get um, customs on this because the value is below the the customs rate. I don't know, but. This is something I do buy from the US, but it's the only thing I buy. Is hippo hippo for Easter? Uh, it's just I'm sorry, I don't want to get it out of the package because I save all the hippos. I try to catch them all, and um, I have no project in mind. I just love the hippos, so that's that one. And um, I'm also in a club from uh, Nora George and the Mrs. Weasley Sock Club. Each month you get uh, a sock set from Nora George inspired by Harry Potter. And I love Harry Potter. And um, this is the third month I'm in. And look how pretty. You can see. It's so pretty. That's the name. The mandrakes have reached adolescence. And it's so pretty. I am so happy with this. And Tracy always sends a lovely card with a stitch marker and some chocolate. The chocolate is still here this time. Can you believe it? I did not eat the chocolate. And I'm going to be brave when I uh, finish here and I have to clean up everything. This will go to the kids. I promise this will go to the kids. Because I'm doing so well. I was... Yeah, well, that's a different story. Last acquisition. Really last acquisition. I have to look something up. One moment. Really, everything in this book is amazing. It's a book, and I bought this book. I would not have found this if I um, hadn't looked for a men's sweater. Uh, I was uh, before Edinburgh, I was chatting with my husband, and he said, Well, knit me a sweater. Yeah, I said, what kind of sweater? What do you want? I want a cabled sweater. 
Okay, so I started looking on Ravelry and I found a pattern. I, um, I thought he would say no. It was really, really heavily cabled. And um, so I took a screenshot and um, sent it to him. And he said, yes, that's the one I want. Go look for it. The pattern was not available uh, on per for purchase on Ravelry. You had to buy the book. So I bought the book. Of course. I also checked out all the other patterns in the book because buying a book for just one pattern is a bit much. But I loved all the other patterns as well. So I bought the entire book and I am going to make my husband this sweater. This is going to be a challenge. But, and I don't uh, know when it will be finished. I said to him, um, I am going to make it, but it might take me a while. But it's so pretty, I really love it. Look at how pretty. He did ask to do the sleeves just normal and um, I'm not sure if that will work but who knows I will just see I ordered yarn for it uh, I think I did that yesterday or the day before I don't remember it just uh, cascade to 20 for it because he didn't want any fancy yarn he just yeah well I will get him there so those are all the acquisitions every time I think I will have nothing and then take two <clears throat> um, sorry there there was an interruption and um, I started coughing and everything so I had to start over again so where was I I had to remember something about all the stash. Um, a little while ago I started Oldest Stash Cal 2018 with the meaning that um, you would knit up, crochet up, weave, I don't know, and I only knit at the moment, that you would use up that oldest stash. We all have oldest stash, whether it's one week old or you don't have a stash at all or anything there is always some yarn that's been with you the longest than others i have stash from 2015 2016 and for me that's oldest stash i bought it a long time ago and it's time i start knitting it up i started it and um I'm really, uh, I'm lacking energy. And I started the Ravelry group, but um, I, it could use some more energy. So um, I really have to try my best and do better. And I will, I will try to be more, uh, more in the Ravelry group. And um, so I'm hoping you will join me. Let's use up that oldest stash. Let's knit it up, let's crochet it up, let's do something with it. Swap it, I don't know, just get the oldest stash worked up. And um, let's find some projects together, let's just get it going. Um, this morning I finally posted uh, some new uh, things in it like um, the things I finished and um, let's let's do this let's let's tackle this and let's get that all the stash out of the way and make room for new stash <laughs> so <clears throat> that's that I will uh, post links of course anywhere I don't even know if I will keep this in, but okay. So, all the stash, let's get knitting, crocheting, weaving, swapping, anything. Let's work it out. So, um, 
I have more. Uh, next weekend, um, there is a um, yarn fair, knitting fair, crochet fair, I don't know, in Tilburg. The Knit and Knot uh, Beurs Fair. Beurs is Dutch. Uh, in Tilburg, and um, I uh, was lucky enough to get a, 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 a ticket for it from Carla. And uh, last week I was also uh, able to gift a ticket. And um, I will be there on Sunday, April 8th. Um, the fair is from uh, April 6th, April 7th and April 8th. And it's really fun. So uh, if you do not have any plans, uh, and you can go. It's worth it. It's it's nice to go. And if you would like to come say hi, I will be there on Sunday, uh, April 8th. So it would be really nice if you come and say hi. And this YouTube channel, um, I'm still a little bit like, what? Um, I checked this morning and we have 115 subscribers. A little while ago I said if we should ever reach 100 subscribers I will do a giveaway. And we reached 115 and I'm really stunned, surprised and but also really happy and really grateful that you take the time to subscribe and to watch and to listen to me jabber on about anything. So I went stash diving because I need my oldest stash out. So I went stash diving. I, sorry for the crinkling. I know this really sounds uh, difficult on screen, but I forgot to take them out. I have a prize. Uh, I have found two skeins of yarn that I, I really like and I thought you might like as well. And um, I'm only gifting one, but you can choose. <clears throat> okay. I also want to do an Instagram giveaway, so um, I don't know how to all do this, so I decided. I um, got two skeins from my stash, nothing wrong with them, never used, just from my stash. And um, I first thought, well, they have to do this, they have to do that, and I, I kind of like, ah, I will be surprised if I have a lot of entries, so I'm going to just ask you to subscribe to my channel and um, leave a comment down below just saying hi and something positive just something nice be it to me to someone else i don't i don't care just say something nice i have these two skins first this is a skin of sock yarn because i really love knitting socks and i love these colors it's from Piratenwolle. She doesn't have any colorway names, just number 409. But her sock yarn is really. Look, there's some purple in here. I really like this one. So that's this one. This is also sock yarn. As you can see, it has no label. There's a reason for that, because this one was dyed by me. Two years ago, I um, bought everything to dye yarn. I decided I wanted to do that, never thinking about that little toddler I had running around, grabbing everything. Uh, one day I almost had a blue child because he grabbed the top of blue dye and almost tossed it off on herself so I decided I'm not going to do that for a little while I might try next summer but this is one of the skins I still had 
in my stairs waiting to be knit up but I decided I'm going to put it up for a giveaway so comment down below with a nice comment just something positive subscribe to my channel I am going to try and check that I, um, but I'm also going to trust so and then you can choose one of these I will ship anywhere open worldwide only um, if you want it tracked and insured um, that's really really uh, expensive to get it outside the Netherlands so um, if you want it that way I'm going to ask to pay the difference in that because I can't do that otherwise just uh, I will ship it out as a, a letter but I've never had any problems with that so if you don't mind enter below and you can choose one of these if both are really completely not your thing when you if you win uh, I can uh, see if I have something else in stash that would suit you and of course I will add some other goodies this is the main prize one of these the other one will go to the Instagram giveaway because there I have a lot of followers as well and I want to do a giveaway there as well so comment below something positive something nice and subscribe to this channel and a thumbs up would be great as well so, so I had a coughing fit um, so uh, I'm ending this episode with the giveaway and I hope you enjoy um, I am gonna sign off here because I'm by now I'm really tired and I want to clean up and I want to go downstairs and have uh, a few minutes of quietness and uh, just knit a little bit so uh, thank you for watching and uh, if you enjoyed please hit uh, subscribe and uh, a thumbs up would be great so because then it gets uh, it more out there so, so um, I will post links to everything also to the Ravelry group of this podcast so it would be amazing if you joined there as well thank you please do and um, yeah I'm going to clean up and um, edit and upload and yeah it's always exciting so thank you for watching and um, I hope to see you again in two weeks thank you bye